everybody, this is your favorite college host, Travis Fadler, with another interesting installment of the college experience. In this week's show, we're going to explore the possibilities of saving some money by cutting some corners and rolling your own cigarettes. Today's guest comes all the way from St. Louis, Missouri, and he's a personal friend of mine. Welcome, Devin, and thanks for coming down for, for us, man. Thanks for having me today, Travis. Yeah, no problem. Look forward to uh, showing you how to save some money. Right on, good deal. Now, how long have you been rolling your own cigarettes? Well, I've been rolling my own cigarettes for about 20 minutes now, um, but I've been smoking for probably about three years. Okay. Yeah, my, my best friend's, she's a fault. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, it's not, it's not that bad, you know. Smokers get a lot of, a lot of blame, you know. Get we're a lot we're of here grief. to help them out today, you know. Okay, uh, so um, what made you decide to start rolling your own cigarettes? Economy, man. Economy. Yeah, you're, you're going to save some money um, when you buy the loose tobacco, okay. which is this okay. bugler. It ends up being about eight dollars a carton. Yeah, that's for right. for uh, for cigarettes and versus twenty five dollars a carton for pre made cigarettes. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Okay, well, what's the first thing you would do in order to you know s get the materials you need and everything you need for rolling your own cigarettes? What's the first thing? Well, the first thing is you want to get some bugler. Okay. Some bugler. Or you can also go to a tobacconist and buy a large like pound bag of of tobacco. A pound. Yes. That's a lot of tobacco. And then you're going to need some papers. Here we've got zigzags or buglers. These usually come with the bugler brand. All right. And then your fingers. Okay, well, let's get started. Sure, let's viewers. do, man. How it's done. We've got a little pile of uh, tobacco there for you. Okay, I'm going to try to stay with you on this and learn how to do it myself. All right. Might as well take advantage of the situation. I'm going to use the zigzag. Yeah. I'll uh, grab one of the buglers then, man. Okay. So what's the difference in papers? I mean, does it well, matter? Some papers are thicker than the others. Uh, some papers are bigger, as you can see. Uh, the zigzag is just a little bit bigger. Okay, so you can kind of customize your cigarettes. This, yes, know. the size. There's some that are like inch and a half. Okay. So you just uh, pick up the clump here. All right. And put it in the middle of the paper. Now, do you actually know a lot of people that roll their own cigarettes? I know quite a few, yeah. Um, a lot of my friends will smoke them. They'll uh, love to share them with people. They take a lot of pride in the cigarettes that they roll. Okay. And they've been rolling for years, so gotcha. they roll some nice ones. And they're saving themselves some money for they're other saving. things, right? Exactly. Gotcha. You now, if you're in college, we all know what, what that's like. You know, you gotta, you got to save some money. It's hard. You know, you got to have some money to go out and spend and have a good time. And, Paying, you know, like three, four bucks for a pack of cigarettes, you're not going to be able to do it. No. Nah. So we give it a little rolly roll. A rolly roll. Get it all nice and tight in there. All right. And then roll it up to where the glue is. And then you're just going to get your tongue wet and run it right over that glue strip. Okay. And then keeping it all tight, just roll it over. All right. And roll it till it adheres and you got a nice, tight cigarette. Cool. Now we know a lot of people don't like smoking and a lot of smokers get, like I said earlier, a lot of slack, you know, and smokers in general. Now the government's trying to push smoking out of all public places. How do you feel like that, about that? Well, in bars, that's a little bit of a hassle. We were out in uh, California mm -hmm. and out there you're not allowed to smoke in bars or restaurants. Okay. So after you get done eating or whenever you're, you're getting a little uh, tipsy and you want to have a cigarette, you have to go outside depending on the weather, it kind of is a factor as well. Okay, okay. All right, well, this is what I came out with. I think I need a little work on mine, but yours is good. Um, guys, this, is, this has been great. That's all the time we have for today. Um, tune in next week when we'll have an expert thrift store shopper come by and give us a few tips on how to find the best bargains for clothes. I want to thank Devin here for stopping by, and until next time, everybody, this is your host of the College Experience, Travis, saying keep on rolling. <laughs>